Good afternoon guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Like I told you guys yesterday, the temperature is like really cold this week. I think up until like Friday or something like that, through most of the main part of the week, it's supposed to be um, like only like low 70s or so, low to mid 70s as a high. Um, so like I am like, wearing a sweatshirt. Um, and I actually too was smart today and put leggings on, um, like athletic leggings so they're not like full. They have like that much of my lower leg exposed or so. Um, but just because I was like, I am cold. I don't feel like wearing shorts. And like, like yesterday was okay. Um, it wasn't that bad because I spent most of the day in my room. So I was actually under a blanket um, other than when I was cleaning the bathroom and stuff like that. But like I went outside and I was freezing cold like in the like afternoon. Which was really cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like I said, kind of chilly out. Um, and again, I am gonna clean the kitchen now. That is my goal for um, right now. I already uploaded the vlogs, the four vlogs that I had edited yesterday. Um, I edited two already and I have been watching the mail like a hawk because I think I told you guys too, I thought my AirPods were supposed to come today. And I think I order them through Target and I believe Target ships through the UPS. Um, I think, um, I remember when we got the KitchenAid mixer, we ordered that through Target and I believe it came through the UPS because FedEx already came once today and dropped off two gigantic, super heavy packages, um, that were for my mom. And, um, I was like, oh yes, like I literally came out here at the perfect time. I saw them and I was like, oh yes, they must be dropping that off. And I thought too that the cure was also supposed to be delivered today because I remember my dad saying, oh, it's supposed to the stuff that we ordered from Amazon, which I showed you guys those like cabana curtains <laughs> that we ended up getting, um, for the deck outside they were supposed to be delivered on the 4th, which was yesterday, and they did come. And the brackets were also supposed to come on the 4th, but they actually came on the 3rd. Um, so that came through Amazon. And then I thought the other things that we ordered through Target and then also the KitchenAid was supposed to come on the 5th. Because my dad's like, oh, everything should be coming right at the same time. Because um, we did a big online order this week. <laughs> um, it's because like, I don't, Matthew orders stuff online all the time, but like whenever, normally like, and my mom, I guess, too. Whenever me and my dad decide we're gonna order anything online, it is like this huge process. And normally we're just like, let's try and just order whatever we need online, like at one time in the week or whatever. Um, and then also too money wise and stuff like that. We don't wanna be like, let's blow all the money in one week, <laughs> you know, and order everything that we can possibly think of. So a lot of times if we do it, it'll be like every couple of weeks that we just make like a big order from a couple different places. But I saw the AirPods were on sale at Target. So I ordered them on Saturday, which is the last day of the sale. And again, they said they were supposed to I think from originally what they said was the fifth I think it was supposed to be here but um my dad got the email and so I don't know if it was supposed to be the fifth and I feel like you said too I thought the cure was also supposed to come at the same time but again since we knew that there was a couple things we had to order anyway which was why we were like let's just place you know the multiple orders from Amazon Target and um through curing and stuff like that all at the same time so again FedEx came today and that's what they brought which wasn't the stuff so I'm thinking and the postal like the US Postal Service um, Matthew got a package too from some stuff that he would ordered um, and yeah so I was like okay well it didn't come through either of those because they both delivered stuff today so I was like okay it has to be UPS if it's even coming today at all so I was kind of hoping that I was gonna have them to be able to clean in the kitchen today but my mom got up early because she had to go to like a doctor's thing or something like that this morning or maybe physical therapy or something. Um, and so she got up early to go today and she got up, I don't know, like probably something seven, seven o'clock or something like that. Cause I think her appointment was like at eight or eight something. So she was probably up pretty early this morning, decently early, I guess. So she ended up, um, actually when she came back home, was up for like another couple hours and now she's taking a nap. Matthew and Jack are still not awake. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, so, I kind of don't feel bad putting music on like I mean I'm not gonna put it on super loud or anything like that but normally I do that so that like you know if other people are in the rest of the house don't have to listen to my music but since everybody's still sleeping I'm kind of like I guess I'm just gonna turn it on and work in here at the same time because I like to clean and listen to music at the same time and so like I said I was hoping that those were gonna be here today because that was one of the main reasons I ended up getting them was because I just like you know I 
normally too, like today, my leggings do not have pockets in them. So I can't wear, you know, my headphones with my phone in my pocket or anything like that because they don't have pockets. Um, and two, when I do that, normally I wind up, you know, cleaning and stuff like that. I wind up getting stuck on every single little stinking, like these things. And door handles and all that kind of stuff and pulling, pulling my ear buds out and stuff like that so that's why I was like I really want to get some you know some of those so that again I'm wire free and can kind of work and walk around the house and stuff like that at the same time so that was why I was hoping I hoped that they would be here by today I knew they weren't going to come yesterday to clean the bathroom but I was kind of hoping they were going to be here today no I guess not but again everybody's still sleeping so I guess I could probably work in here at the same time by myself and listen to music I guess so yeah and on top of that too like I said these two packages my mom got are super super heavy and I was like I don't know what they are but that's when I brought them inside and went to go check in her room to go ask her I was like what did you end up ordering um you know or to, to at least tell her her packages were here and um yeah she was asleep so I was like okay I guess I cannot do that <laughs> um Anyways, like I said, I think I am going to get to cleaning. I already did dishes. Everything in the dishwasher is dirty because we had leftovers yesterday. Somebody had the smart idea to go out and get pizza for lunch yesterday at around 2 or 3 o'clock, which was like right near when dinner's ready. So everybody ended up filling up on pizza yesterday and didn't, um, or two days ago, and ended up not getting, um, not having a whole ton of dinner. So we had a lot of actually leftover pizza and leftovers from, again, two nights ago, which would have been Monday. And so um, we ended up just having leftover pizza and, and the actual dinner leftovers from Monday. So that was both for dinner yesterday, so we really did not have any dishes. Um, so I did the dishes yesterday and just the stuff that was in the dirty side loaded it up today. I already did a load of laundry and organized all the laundry and everything like that, but there's really like, I've pretty much done everything else today other than just cleaning the kitchen. So um, I'll probably wind up editing later because there's a Cubs game and a Hawks game on tonight. Um, and I think we're also going to watch a movie, so I don't know how much of the um, actual Cubs game we'll probably watch. But the Hawks game's on way later in the afternoon, like 9.30 I think again. Which kind of stinks because I don't like staying up until midnight. The, was it yesterday? No, two nights ago. I ended up staying up until about like 12 o'clock or I think I didn't fall asleep until closer to 1 because after I took a shower and everything like that, it was late. So anyways guys, yeah. I think I'm going to get to some cleaning right now. As I was telling you guys earlier, um, the... I think it was UPS that ended up coming and dropping off. Both the Keurig that ended up coming today and also my AirPods came. I got those all set up. They're hooked up to my Mac and my iPad my iPhone um, so I can use those now and I got my little I actually had my aunt gave me for Christmas um, a like one of the um, wireless charging thingies and um, uh, so I made sure I got one with the wireless charging like case um, because I had one of those and I wanted to use it for something um, because my phone does not charge wirelessly and I'm gonna get um, for my birthday um, I was going to get my Apple Watch, um, which will most likely have wireless charging as well. But as of right now, I didn't have anything to use with it. So I was like, oh, I'll get that. Um, and too, it'll be useful to have, like I said, again, the wireless charging. Um, what's it called? Case. So, um, the Keurig came, guys, and I'm actually going to get this, do a slight little maybe unboxing for you guys, and put this together actually right now, making sure it all works. So, what we ended up getting was we actually got the Keurig um, McKay Elite, which is, um, the reason we kind of got it too is that it has an iced coffee, which I'll be totally honest, guys, I don't know really what the difference with the iced coffee is and why you can't just make it doing it the normal way like if you had just a normal Keurig um but for one of the other reasons too was that it had um I think the biggest water reservoir maybe or something like that deal for it we ended up actually getting the Keurig half off because we ended up doing like the um k-cup pods um like subscribe Bing thing whatever it's called um like the subscribe and save sort of thing so the keurig itself was i think 85 dollars maybe which again was half off so it's normally pretty expensive keurig um but we ended up getting it for under 100 bucks and then what we also ended up doing though was we did again this subscription like service for the k cups which guys i have to say i feel like they're actually so they were also 25 percent off they're actually i feel like decently competitively priced 
So the 24 count K cups, which we ended up getting four packs. So I think the way it works is <clears throat> you do the subscribe and save deal and I think you have to buy four packs to start off with. And then you also have to get a total of 16. So we did it for every six weeks. So I think we'll get them like, what is that? Four times I think or something like that, but every six weeks. So it's not gonna be like a once a month for four months or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, that's the way we best figured it out because not only did we have a lot of K-Cups, we also ended up figuring if we're gonna get 24 plus, I don't like getting any of these kind really. I think you can change the kind that you like. The only kind I really like is either just like I don't like any of the tasty kind of ones like the ones that like my mom and dad got buttered toffee from Gloria Jeans, the vanilla biscotti from Folgers, um, <clears throat> Cinnabon classic cinnamon roll and then my dad got some other kind too. Um, I think maybe it was Green Mountain caramel vanilla cream or something like that maybe was what it was. Um, something. So <laughs> Yeah, they ended up getting those, but I'll normally wind up getting like the little 12 cup pods and stuff like that of different types of, again, K-cup coffee for normally like five or so bucks. So these ended up being for a 24 pack, which is basically two of them. I think it was like 11 something. We got the ones that were a little bit cheaper. I think the Starbucks ones, again, I can get those a lot of times on sale cheaper, were I think... 12 or something like that so they were a little bit more money so that's why i was like i already have some i've been also super in love with using my french press so i haven't been wanting to really use the keurig that often and our other keurig was not working anymore really well so um again we ended up going with that so we had to buy four to start off with so again that was a little over 40 bucks plus the keurig so that was the deal we ended up getting too there's also coupons in here too for other keurig um for like k cups and then also too i think for the keurig um like cleaning solution thingy whatever it is so like i said guys i will try and take this apart actually and share it with you guys and well we'll see if we can get this all put together shouldn't be that difficult and i've put together two other keurigs so far i think this is i actually think this is our fourth keurig that we've gotten so far um and keurig is not that old of a product i feel like we shouldn't have gone through four but the one we had before was one of those little single serve ones and it actually had a huge problem with it wasn't it was leaking water everywhere we don't know what was happening with it but um the other two ones i don't know also what ended up happening with them the ones was just super super old like the original keurig um that we got i think when keurig was still like a new thing um we ended up getting and it was again i think ended up turning into like it was just really old the other one something happened with like the needles and stuff like that and although i think there's a way to fix it the lid also stopped working like the like you couldn't pull it down anymore or something like that and then like i said we got this one which had a water with the problem with spilling water all over the place hopefully this one lasts a lot longer because it was again one of the more expensive ones we got normally the cheaper ones so um my goal is that this lasts more than again i mean we, i wouldn't say we replaced it every year or so but other than this last one that we had um but i feel like we've had like some people have coffee pots i feel like a lot longer i feel like we've kind of gone through some keurigs kind of quickly we definitely wear them out so again i'm gonna try and get this set set up so i've got all the tape removed on here and i've got the gigantic which again i think this is bigger than even the last normal size like keurig that we had um the huge like water reservoir i am currently soaking the um the filter which we've normally done this before with the other ones i think we even have some of the yeah we do have some leftover ones too from our old one um and so i'm letting that soak right now which you're supposed to do even to like when you do um just to like get the stuff off of it like Brita filter and stuff like that those ones are supposed to like clean and soaked and whatnot um so i'm on that step sort of right now i think i gotta do something with this i'm <laughs> reading the directions and then two guys i didn't even know this it's got a clock on here like that is so cool so i think maybe um i'm not sure if it was this kind which i'm thinking it might be i think it might be programmable that's one of the cool things the only thing i didn't take off right now was this little thing um because it's about the iced coffee which I'll be totally honest again I don't know what the difference is maybe it's a different way it brews it or something like that but it comes out hot right um it doesn't actually come out cold but I literally make my iced coffee this exact way I just used a normal oh, carry it all the time I would just fill it up with ice water and brew my normal coffee and it would be cold again um because some of the ice would melt so I don't know if it's like maybe cooler and not quite as hot but 
it still says that it's gonna be hot. So like it brews hot, like it says on there. So I don't totally know um, what the big deal with that is. But um, again, we mainly got it because it has the biggest reservoir. It's all nice and digitalized and stuff like that. So um, I didn't set a timer. I don't think it's supposed to soak for five minutes. Well, you say it's been maybe about a minute or two so far. So this is it, it is all set up. We've got part of the water in there and it's actually ran through once already. So it does, it's not like, pre-brew like ready like timer um like it won't brew the coffee obviously because you have to do all the you know that kind of stuff and whatnot but it will turn on and off so that's what you can set but i don't know necessarily when we want to have it set i'm thinking like maybe eight o'clock is a good time to have it set or you can just leave it on permanently which is right now just what we have set um but it does have the timer and everything like that on there that i matched up with that to make sure we're at the right time um and then again it's got all the little features and whatnot on there the only thing that this one did not have that we were kind of looking at um was the bigger k-cup ones that brew a whole pot of coffee um which i guess this one doesn't have but the only problem is is that it's very hard to find those k cups at all um we have like the actual keurig coffee pot um and we use it maybe once for our old one or something like that but we couldn't um find the actual keurig k cups for it so that's why um this one does not have that um and that was the only thing that again we were like kind of still interested in and would have liked um but this one i feel like it is super durable it's actually all really nice like i guess that's plastic but most of this stuff like this is metal this is actual metal and stuff like that like it feels nice and durable and strong and like the lid thing on here too feels like it actually is really nice and like works and all that kind of stuff so again i got the um filter all set up in there too so that is all set and ready to go for tomorrow guys i'm gonna go get in the shower and get to bed I stayed up, it is a little late past my bedtime. I stayed up a little late to watch the Hawks game, which was worth it for a Hawks win. <laughs> um, I ended up, the last six minutes was like crazy. So um, my, my heart was like beating out of my chest. Um, I was also able to get at least some work put into my paper also too. I ended up like writing the first paragraph and I finished up the research too that I needed to do. Kind of filled in my template for what I was gonna write. So hopefully after this point, it's pretty smooth sailing. The other thing I finished also too is I made my grocery list and I totally forgot to put that on my planner for this week. Um, I guess I could have put it on either today or yesterday normally is when I try and do it earlier in the week. And again, I forgot to do it um, yesterday and um, I was just kind of, you know, again, working through getting the bathroom cleaned, all that kind of stuff. And then today, the kitchen is, I think, easier to clean too than the bathroom. So I got that done. Again, so you guys saw I got the kitchen aid all put together, got some work done and stuff like that today too that I needed to. So all that was good. But I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. We'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.